when we move from here, this side will pay the actual mortgage and that side will be just passive income paying for the next house. Real estate motivated, we are here finally. Construction has started at my duplex. I mean, if you're interested in real estate, if you're interested in rehabbing, flipping properties, renting them out, making passive income, you definitely want to stay in tune with this series. I have special, special uh, info announcement at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Let's check out this demo work. So, if you watched the last episode, you know that it was pretty much drywall. We're knocking down all these walls to the studs. This house, I've never, I mean, I'm used to new construction, but literally I have never really seen a house with this much wood. Like, <laughs> I can believe that. Bro, like. There was a lot of walls in here. Bro, like, it's not really supposed to be like these wood planks. Wow. Usually it's like two by fours lined up. Right, and then you insulated. I mean? Yeah, this is definitely like a solid, a solid, a solid house. So we could do a quick one through. This is gonna be, remember it's gonna be a duplex. So this is gonna be one side and this is gonna be one side. So we can really start on this side. So how's the how's the floor plans gonna go? Basically, I will put the floor plan on the screen right here. So, <laughs> so basically we're on the rental side. So basically we are in the living room and this is gonna be a kitchen. Oh my God, it's like an L-shaped kitchen, fridge, stove, dishwasher, uh, sink, and it's gonna stop. Pantry? Uh, pantry's gonna be right here. We're gonna build it. Oh. Build like a small one. We're gonna uh. Over close. here. Yeah, we're gonna close this up. We're gonna close it up. Knock all the drywall down. The drywall wasn't that bad on the ceiling, so we pretty much just gonna smooth it. Knock down these uh grandma ceiling fans. Hmm. Get that out of here. Um, but yeah, so basically... You gotta put it in the tropical ceiling fans. <laughs> so basically, um, since it, this is gonna be basically like a, a barrier between units, you basically, what you have to do is you have to get fire rated sheetrock, and the sheetrock is 5 eighths. You can't go with like regular half inch, things like that. It has to be 5 eighths. That's what's uh, allowed in code. And... You know what's interesting? I just now noticed, maybe it's because it's like more opened up now, but these ceilings are actually like taller than I, than you like the first, right? yeah. yeah. Did y'all yeah. raise them at all when y'all no, put in this no, new no. sheet rock? Or? We didn't raise them, so it's really like 10 foot ceilings. Wow. 10 foot ceilings, which is cool. And this is gonna be the bedroom. Nice. Um, Yeah, so I'm thinking of doing something like really like special for this wall, um, I don't know. Just, the house just has so much wood and so much like kind of character. It's not a historic property at all, which is kind of good, sort of be a fast one. Nice. Um, but yeah, definitely thinking about what I can do. Um, yeah, keep it moving. <laughs> and this is the bathroom. Nice. I told him to take off the uh, take off the the tile off the floor. And they took the whole. They took the whole fucking, floor the whole up. Fucking floor up. Which I re I wasn't really upset, but the plumber has was gonna do it regardless. True. Yeah, the plumber's gonna do it regardless. So pretty much for this unit, um, pretty much it's gonna stop right here. This is the bathroom. This wall stops right here. I'm gonna have a washer and dryer set up right here, and that's the end of this unit. Okay. So pretty much one bed, a one nice bath. One, yeah. One bed, one bath, washer and dryer. Um, as of now, I want to do a Airbnb. Um, I just have to make sure the numbers work. Uh, I really wasn't looking for like a long-term tenant right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if the numbers work and I'm getting like, you know, extra money on the side for that, that's no problem. Really just trying to, you know, boss up like London, you know? <laughs> Not even. So this is the main side that I'll be staying at. So pretty much opening this up before, as you can see, it had a wall barrier up. 
So basically open this up, kitchen, L-shaped kitchen. And you can't see these windows, but I hate with a passion when the, <laughs> the, the windows, and like the con the windows stop right here and the countertops up here. Yeah. And you have that little crack in the back. Mm -hmm. I hate that shit. So <laughs> that's I hate it, bruh. It's just like details. It's just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> Seriously, I hate it. So what, you're going to have the windows meet the counters is what you're saying? Basically, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the windows. I think the windows are maybe like 66 uh, inches long. I'm going to raise them to 60. Hmm. Um, and pretty much that'll be, which is strategic because those windows in that size are actually in stock. The ones that are 66 are kind of like a specialty, so it'll take two to three months. To even come in. Mm. So yeah, it's probably just worth it to do that. Plus I hate that damn kind of top covering. Um but yeah, keep it moving. Um So this whole area is gonna be the kitchen. No no no. So or kitchen, living room kitchen. Kitchen, right where we are? Yeah. Living room. Right here, kitchen. Open floor plan, but yeah. living room right here. Yeah. Nice. Bathroom. I want you to get a nice view of this bathroom. Ooh, I like the window. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry, wow. bro. <laughs> I don't like uh, windows and uh, bathrooms, bro. You yeah. like that? Give me your honest opinion. Do you like it? Yeah. Why? Who want to be in a dark ass bathroom? But the thing is, it's like. You're gonna have like a recess light, but I guess if you want that natural light. Oh, you got a recess light in? Yeah, it's gonna be like a recess light. Like a can light, you mean? No, yeah. it's not the same, bro. I'm talking about sunlight, window light. Oh my god. Put a solar tube in there then. How about that? You know what? I'm gonna think about it. A solar tube? No, I'm gonna think about keeping the window. All right. I'm hey, man, it's your house. No, I'm, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. I'm, it's my house, but like the thing is, I didn't want my first house, like just being around all these guys to be a single family so it is going to be a duplex so when I, we do move from here resale value and things like that yeah. but i'm gonna keep it when we move from here this side will pay the actual mortgage and that side will be just passive income paying for the next house right um or you know god forbid something happens to me if my girl or my son needs to just move on that unit this side will just pay the mortgage and they're getting passive income kind of like a crutch you know what i mean just like yeah just like uh just making sure you're straight. Um, it's the best way, really, just to go firsthand. Um, yeah, bro. But I've never seen. But I'm just doing it so much with this house. Like I've never seen. Like this is the like the floor. Like you thought it was tile, huh? Look how thick it is. What is that? It's like a concrete layered floor. That was the floor, bro? This is the floor, like... Damn, that shit is thick. That's like... Man, that's that's not something you would normally find down here. At all. Hey, this is gonna Bless be a it. bedroom. So I remember it's gonna put a, put a wall up. Bedroom. No window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. I, look, I'm, uh, I'm getting rid of these windows, though. Oh, yeah? I'm getting rid of those windows, keeping this window. Yeah. Uh, getting rid of this door. Getting rid of this door, keeping those windows. Right. Um, so what side is the nook going to be on? What size is the appliance is going to be on? Well, this is a, this is going to be a bedroom. Oh, this is going to be the this bedroom. This is going to be like the large bedroom. I don't oh, okay. Bedroom, so large bedroom. Um, I'm tripping. We, I'm thinking like this was still Because it was the kitchen. Because it was the kitchen it before. It was the kitchen. So pretty much how it is, bedroom, closet, entry into it, toilet, vanity. The vanity is going to kind of like be in this middle portion. Mm. Um, talk to a uh, cabinet guy, so pretty much it's going to be like 30. 20, 20, sort of kind of like section off right here a little bit. Just because it's in the middle. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to go like over cost just because it's 
it's, it's in, in the long term it's an investment property right so you don't want to like you know overdo it um but yeah and over here it's gonna be a tub and also if you're like when you're doing like small bathrooms you can you can go over a little bit of uh how much you spend on square foot for your tile so you can go for go up for a little bit more of a, like a luxury or more expensive tile, especially if the bathroom's small so but this is going to be the, another room. It's going to be a bedroom. Um, it's going to be closed off. Hallway, insert in here. This is the master bedroom, or no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what was hey, that? You never know what you hear right here, bro. But uh, for this one, I'm getting rid of this window. So keeping this window, getting rid of this window, and opening making it, up, it smaller. Opening up, uh, putting a door there. So it have a side entry to go to the backyard. Gotcha. Um, yeah, in this room, it's gonna be a third bedroom, but it kind of like be like my office thing. Yeah. My office area. Um, yeah, and that's nice. it. That's literally it for this. Uh, for this. Uh, for this side. That's a nice setup. It's not bad. I, I like it. It's not bad. Yeah. Like, like they asked me if I want to keep it a single family home. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, you just like, I, feel, I would feel like I'm wasting money, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, plus it's like hurricanes and stuff like that, if I'm ebbing and being it, and I have like family and my mom wants to come up here, right. she could just stay on that side and she ain't got to be, you know what I'm saying, Live under my roof coming, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, this is an asset. This ain't your dream home. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly, bro. Facts. But, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you know what I mean? We can check the outside out. Yeah. Know, favorite portion. My favorite part. Yeah. This is, gonna, this is where I'm going to live when it's finished. Last time you remember they had like the, uh, the they had the uh, aluminum siding. Yeah. The yellow everywhere. You still see this yellow. It's like, I guess at that time it was in. <laughs> you know what I mean? style. But I mean, it's, it's really like we hit like a gold mine with this, just for it to have uh, like the cypress siding underneath. Yeah. Like you're saving probably three, four grand. <laughs> the house, as you can see, took off the aluminum siding, had to get rid of that old shit. Um, Bringing back the cypress siding that we found, as mentioned, that's saving us three, four grand alone. Uh, gonna do a new roof, a uh, new, new uh, deck. Da, 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 da. The thing is, like this house is kind of close to, uh, literally across like the street is like kind of like the garden district. So really trying to replicate those styles, just yeah. so it could really like raise the property value of this house as it grows. Um, so yeah, probably definitely gonna uh, new porch. New steps. I'm gonna try to do wooden steps. Uh, open this up to kind of match the style of this porch. So, yeah, pretty much all of this is like an add on. So, are you gonna redo the carport or no carport this time? I took it off. Right. I just thought, well, it was falling down anyway. So, I, yeah, were yeah, you gonna yeah. redo it or just. I took it off. Yeah. I took it off because the door is gonna, gonna decide door is gonna be right here. So the side door for side entry is going to be right here. Put back up like a wooden fence. The shed. Shout out to my boy Deron. The shed. What do you think? It literally you have, just you have the, the architecture background. You have the, the city planning background. Come on, man. What's up? I, I mean, I, I like it. I do think you're going to have to tear a lot of it down. <laughs> so, actually what I found out was... Bro, no, no, whenever you're doing a property or anything, make sure you get a survey. Make sure you get a survey, like a boundary survey. I, I was like, oh my God, I don't really need it. I don't really want to get it. I'm like, let me just be safe. So I called the guy. He came out here and we actually have 25 feet mm -hmm. behind the shit. I thought the property line stopped wow. when the shed ended, but it's really like mm. 25 feet behind it. 25? 25. Love it, man. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. 
You know what I mean? So. So that's like, it like changed, kind of like changed everything. changes everything. Every, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Original plan was to do a tiny home for this. But now that I got the extra 25 feet, you know, the game has changed. So. I have two options. One option, just knock it down and um, rebuild like a garage at the bottom with like a unit at the top. Mm -hmm. But if I was to go with that route, I would have to get it, I would have to get it rezoned. And that's like a 60 day process, 90 day process. And plus it's like right now, that's not really on my mind. Um, second option, just knock it down, keep it as is and just have it open for extra parking. Well. Uh, you're not making no that's money, a, but true, that's a lot of parking. Bro. <laughs> that's, I don't a know. Lot of parking. that's a whole parking lot, dog. <laughs> no, seriously, bro. That's a lot of parking. But yeah, man, I don't. Bro, this like this shed is really solid. It's really, really solid. Like I really want to like. You should either keep it as is or rezone it, bro. One of the two. You shouldn't you know. just yeah. And kind of like make it livable, and like change. Like I was thinking, like maybe like board and batten, like exterior side and then like just creating like a door to be able to access like the extra 25 feet mm. in the meantime i just waste it yeah yeah man yeah bro because it's there i mean 20, 20 when he told me 25 feet i, I couldn't believe it bro because <laughs> usually like when like that happens and you buy a property you have to reach out to the that homeowner like the neighbor and like usually like they'll give you a bs story but we called reached out to, to the guy he was cool with it he was like okay just Build your fence. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, I'll take my 25 feet, man. But, yeah, man, just, Solid. Really, just trying to see if the numbers will work, you know? Because it has a tree behind it, got to get the tree cut down, and stuff like that. So, it could be like the, the three, four grand you saved on siding, you could be using now to, you know, Do cut a tree that. down and, you know, try to make this shit a little bit more and stuff like that. Yeah, man. But I definitely look forward to uh, this project not because I just this is my house, but really just being able to document just the journey from beginning to end, um, sharing games, sharing knowledge, uh, going over like some middle packages and working with uh, subcontractors. So yeah, man, definitely. Um, what you got? You got anything from me, London? You got anything? No, nah, man. That's that was that was pretty good. You good? Yeah. So so walk us through what the inside of this was gonna look like again. Bro, I don't even, bro, the 25 feet messed my mind up, so I don't even even know what it's going to look like now. You know what I mean? But Right, um, right, right. But, in my mind, walk with me, believe with me. In my mind, you're going to be able to walk. Living room. Uh, There's going to be like a kitchen right here. And you're going to have be able to have steps going up. And keep this existing structure and rebuild it. Have like kind of like a loft kind of bed, yeah. Just looking over, um, yeah, man. something simple, something like tiny homish, you know, yeah, you know, nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. That, Five man. feet is a lot, man. that's a lot, dude. I know, I know, I don't know, man. I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to see, yeah, but it's a fight once you're trying to get it like rezone because you would have to change like the land use i believe the land use of this neighborhood is compact neighborhood i would have to apply the change it's an urban neighborhood which is a fee wow. then i have to do rezoning as well after that you gentrifying the neighborhood bro you changing it to not, urban i am not gentrifying. changing it to urban bro i am not i am raising the property value for those around me and myself <laughs> investing in forgotten rich black history neighborhoods okay that's it. That's how I can think about it. Indeed. So, uh, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, bro. 25 feet messing me up, man. I'm really just brainstorming still, bro. Like, yeah. Like, demo this or not. You got you on that one for a while. Because I really uh, fell in love with this shit, but yeah, man. So, we'll see. I mean, it'll be a fun project. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Like I said, you're learning a lot. Sharing a lot of gems. We out.